Hey, how you doing? This is Chuck Englert, Spring Piss and Rifle Fever, along with Strength Training. I'm here today to talk to you about the power in your air guns and the numbers that they're telling you, like on these 20, 23 shot shows, uh, when they're saying these uh, normal compression chambered air rifles are getting over a thousand feet per second in 177 and right up to under uh, 1,000 feet per second in 22 caliber, you know what? They're They're full of it their their gimmickry i wish they would educate people on the importance of accuracy and enough power on target to dispatch game humanely so i got a i got a bunch of air rifles out here to talk to you about and talk to you about the feet per second on these rifles so this is my gamma varmint which is a nice little budget break barrel air rifle on here it has 1,250 feet per second. This rifle will not shoot 1,250 feet per second. This shoots a Crossman Premier hollow point pellet in the high 800 feet per second range. It's a 7.9 grain pellet, shoots that, that fast. So this is around in the 14 foot pounds of energy range. It's nothing it's not a super magnum, it's just a magnum. Um, people are even confused on what a magnum is and uh, what isn't a magnum, what's powerful and what isn't powerful. You don't need much energy on target to kill a squirrel. And I know that from shooting my um, HW30S, which only has about like eight foot pounds of energy. And then I dispatched a few squirrels with less energy than that. So uh, next up on the list is the very first air rifle that got me back into air gunning. Not the very first one I ever owned because I owned a Diana 34 that I foolishly sold because I didn't understand the importance of tight stock screws, uh, good pellets, and a good quality optic. So I sold that for next to nothing at a rubbish sale almost 10 years ago. At least 10 years ago. But anyhow, on my Gamma Hornet Maxim, this is the one that got me into shooting again. And this has a few good things going for it. I don't want to get off topic too quickly, but it has the cat trigger, custom action trigger. This is a gas ram. A gas ram is not better than coiled steel spring. That is neither here nor there. What really matters is, does it have a good barrel? Does it have a good trigger? Because on a spring piston rifle, spring or gas ram, whatever you want to call it, what's going to matter is how light and crisp does that trigger break? Are you going to be pulling your gun to the side when you're shooting it? Not good. So on here, this is something that actually got me to buy this. It says 975 feet per second. I thought, whoa, that's good. I didn't notice that PBA, am a, a PBA ammo <coughs> on it. So that 975 feet per second was a big selling point for me on this rifle. That rifle is getting about 16 foot-pounds of energy. It's shooting cross Premier, Premier hollow point pellet, 14.3 uh, grain pellet in the low 700 feet per second range. It's got more than enough energy to do what you want it to do. Uh, you do not really necessarily want pellets that are going mock. <laughs> One, <laughs> you want pellets that are going to be going with enough energy on target. Uh, this is a step up in power. This is the Gamma Whisper Fusion Mach 1. And this air rifle here is definitely not getting what the manufacturer says either. On here, it says... 1100 feet per second you will never ever get 1100 feet per second with this rifle it doesn't matter either though this rifle here is shooting about 21 foot pounds of energy it's shooting in the low 800 feet per second range with a crossman premier hollow point pellet it has plenty of energy this is a scope destroyer this one the scope here might be destroyed already um, shot groups were shifting because when you get a super powerful spring piston, gas piston, I'm going to say gas piston rifle because they're more violent than the spring piston rifles. The piston is going to slam so hard and so fast. Um, with the gas ram, you're not going to notice it so much. It's just a quick explosion. And the scope inside here, this erector tube goes wham out real fast. Um, and that's not good for your scope. You want something smoother shooting. Uh, this is fun, but... The scope is probably going to come off here and I'm probably going to stick to iron sights because the iron sights um, fiber optic are relatively decent on this and it's fun shooting. I think it'd be great for groundhogs in the summertime. 
So if you're looking for something that has more zip and more power, you're going to want something longer. A longer compression chamber, compression tube. This is like a 29 millimeter compression tube on here. Uh, this is a coiled steel spring that is inside this Walther Paris. And this has shot a uh, hobby 11.9 grain pellet. Uh, 964 feet per second, who cares? It shoots it fast, but it has got a lot of power. This will shoot a Crossman Premier hollow point pellet about 880 feet per second. Um, all these shot shows and all this stuff where they're spreading stupid information is not really helpful. And this is an accurate rifle. This is a sledgehammer. It definitely takes a lot more effort to cock. This is my Walther Paris. Um, glad I got one, but your Diana 350 Magnum, your uh, Hatson 125s, those are the Super Magnums, uh, especially that the Gamma Magnum. Um, I, I'm just against the, I am against the gas ram thing. Once you get up to a certain power level, it is destructive as ever on scopes. The Actually, this, my Gamma Hornet, did destroy one of the scopes that I had. The scope was going downhill. I put it on here. One day I was adjusting the object, uh, adjustable objective on it. It was uh, a Mantis scope, actually. And all of a sudden, that scope went pop, and everything flopped over on the inside of the rifle, and that was it with that. Um, sharing my last one that I got on hand here, up on deck. That some people go ooh and ah over. And it is nice looking. This is the um, RWS 350 NTEC Magnum Classic. I believe it is a Diana. And this thing definitely has a lot of power. And it is accurate. Uh, this little scope that I have, this Tasco scope, was holding up pretty decent. I don't know how long it will hold up. Um... This is a very violent rifle. This was shooting about the same as the Walther Paris. It did have a surprise pellet in there that was uh, the Benjamin Destroyer pellet, the 14.3 grain pellet. It was putting those out at about 27, 28 foot-pounds of energy. It was smoking them out. So this is a gas ram. I would definitely like to know how to convert it to a coiled steel spring. I don't really know how to. I don't know if I feel like messing with it, but this is this is also a nice rifle that I don't use too often. One major problem that I did have on this rifle here, I'll just show it right now. Hopefully, everything won't fall out. So right here, uh, this pin fell out, and. It moves around a little bit in there. See, it just moved right there. So that's not really a good thing. I don't call that high build quality. That's not high, high build quality in my book. High build quality is that things don't fall apart. That things stay together and work good. And they don't destroy, destroy any scopes. So I can decock this guy. I better hold on tight. This is the hardest cocking rifle. It takes, it takes a man-sized effort to cock this guy. Or girl, what do you want to call it? So, I just wanted to share that about velocity, energy. Uh, this is also shoot. Like I said, this is shooting about what the uh, Walther Paris is shooting. The coiled steel spring, though, is easier to cock. Um, only at the very end is it heavy like this, but by that time you got your momentum going and it's cocked. Uh, so, this like like I was saying, this is shooting Crossman Premier Hollow Point pellets. This is shooting them at like 870. 860 feet per second. For some reason, it's shooting them a little slower than the Walther Paris, but it's shooting other pellets faster than the Walther Paris. All that has to do with how they fit into the, your barrel, and uh, that has a lot to do with your foot per second and energy. But most of it's going to come from your compression chamber. And all these people that keep on spreading all this garbage, getting people all psyched up about their Magnum spring piston rifles, I wish they would inform them more accurately and not have them all dazed and confused and buying this and buying that and there needs to be more education and less hype in the air gun world if you like the video give me a like i'd highly appreciate it appreciate a subscribe 
God bless everyone. You have a great day.